Hi, you guys. I hope you're having an amazing week. I wanted to cover Margaret Joseph a little bit on my video today. Um, oh, by the way, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And uh, support the Patreon and all those wonderful things. Buy a t-shirt. <laughs> all of that. Okay, I'm actually waiting for my t-shirt to arrive and I will be wearing it on one of my videos as soon as I get it. I think I ordered the wrong size though. Oh, I'm such a dingbat. Okay, so I'll be in like a nightgown, but <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so here's the thing. I know a lot about New Jersey, you know, behind the scenes and also what's happening on the show. And David Yontif did an interview with Margaret Joseph. Um, and so I wanted to listen to it to see if there was any insight I could pull from it. You know, like I always get like two or three nuggets, you know, you have to really like look for them, but they're there. And in this interview, I found some. So I'm going to share them with you today. This is a video about Margaret Joseph spilling some tea buried into a lot of things we've heard before. Okay, <laughs> here we All go. Right, so the first sound bite I wanna play you is Margaret explaining what it was really like when Teresa threw all the drinks at her. Now, Margaret is triggered by physical violence on Real Housewives of New Jersey because ever since her and Danielle had that fight where Danielle pulled her hair. So she admits that, you know, she regretted throwing the water on Danielle, although she knew that Danielle was coming to try to create a physical altercation to kind of get attention on the show. But Margaret's position was it was like when her hair got pulled, that was so like traumatizing that scene that she shot, because of course it's real at the time to these ladies. It's not like they're being scripted. And so it's it's scary, like you don't know how far the person's gonna go. And um, so she was so traumatized by that, that anytime things get kind of physical on New Jersey, it really freaks her out. And she has a real feeling of like fear and like doesn't like it um, at all. It feels unsafe is what I got out of it. Um, but anyway, this is her describing, and there is some tea in this, which is why I, you know, I look for the, the special parts. So here, here, listen to this for a minute. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, calling someone white trash is disgraceful. That's not a uh, vernacular that's appropriate um, to use. It's weird because Teresa on this particular season has like thrown anything PC out the window. It's like she just surrendered to being the villain or something. Like she was calling her fat and, you know, in innuendos of basically. And, you know, she then calls her white trash, which is really like not a term you're supposed to use nowadays. So like, I was really shocked that Teresa wasn't worried about fan backlash from that because she knows that the fans don't like that. Maybe she feels like her fans don't care at this point. They'll just love her no matter what. Okay. You just didn't say it. it's, it's a slur, but whatever. It's like she, her vocabulary is not the top of the charts. <laughs> What's happening like in the Everyone room? always goes for her into that. Like, what does Joe say, Dolores? I mean, we always like, oh my God, whatever. But he knows, like, now Dolores is like, that's blind rage. Um, you know, Melissa and Joe went running after her. Melissa was trying to contain her. Jennifer went after uh, You know, everyone, you know, Tracy was very upset. Very upset. Um, you know, but I was like, I'm not going to, you know, I was just, this is not going to happen. I was just like, I'm not leaving here. I'm not going to react in a way that's going to reflect poorly on me. I'm just not going to dial into that behavior. Um, you know, production's clearly in an uproar. That tells me the fact that she says production was in an uproar, that they didn't want that shoot day to go like that. Like they were all up for, you know, a you know, a fight to happen between Margaret and Teresa or a discussion to happen about Louis Ruelas, but they didn't want it to happen at that time. You know, they do do that, by the way. They'll say, like, we want this to be a happy moment or they do do that. Um, you know, we don't really want to see the fight happen today. So I think that's why everybody on the show you see in certain scenes going, let's not talk about this now, or we don't need to do this right now. And, and I think they're trying to do what production has instructed, but then some people are like, screw it. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna, 
just do what I want, you know, and that's what plays out. But anyway, production was in an uproar because a bunch of people that were eating in the restaurant got impacted by Teresa's huge uh, throw yeah, of food. Just not going to dial into that behavior. Um, yeah, production's clearly in an uproar. The, the patrons behind me got soaking wet as well. I'm embarrassed. I was like, here we have shamed another city, Nashville. That's, you know, I call it Nash Vegas. I love it. And I was just like, let's enjoy this chicken that they're known for. <laughs> And that's it. And I'm going to eat. I was going to say, like, you're obviously filming this reality show, but, like, aren't you just embarrassed? Like, when you're sitting I'm there? I'm mortified. I'm, like, in wet spanx. So I'm probably going to get a yeast infection, and that's it. You know? And I'm just <laughs> like, but I'm just going to go along with it and, and just enjoy my evening. And, like, what do the patrons of Nashville... I mean, it's a little different in Nashville than Jersey. I'm embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. And, I'm, you know, and I don't want... I'm off for good, some petty fights. It just escalated to a level I was not interested in. Yeah, see, she's, she, anyway, she, you can tell as she talks about physical stuff on the show, she doesn't like it. So what's surprising is Margaret is saying that she is now somewhat more supportive to Louis Ruelas because um, he's being nice to her and that she and him came to some sort of peace at the reunion but her and Teresa are not speaking and there she's implying that there is very little that can happen to make her and Teresa friends again, which of course leads David to wonder, are you going to get fired like all the other women who come for Teresa because she seems to have a huge amount of influence at the production company and network level. And Margaret is not afraid. Anyway, I'm going to play you some more little bits here and then we'll wrap it up. After being around this, I mean, after the season finale, it's not pretty, which you guys all saw. Um, you know, he says some things that really? you know I'm not too happy about. But I think after everybody sees the reunion, we come to a better place. And I think he realized, I don't know if she tainted him towards it. I don't know what it is, but he's much easier to talk to after the fact. And listen, I don't know what that's about. Whatever it is. Unfortunately, Teresa, I've never met somebody who holds a grudge that long. I mean, listen, she still holds a grudge against her sister and brother, you know, her sister and brother for coming on a show so many years ago. I, I don't know from that. I don't, I'm not a grudge holder. And do you think... And by the way, I never said one bad thing about him. She makes it like I said this. I said, I said not one thing. I, I asked... Yeah, I was very shocked how much Teresa can't stand her brother, Joe, and Melissa. Like, it's pretty obvious at this point that their relationship is non-existent, no matter what she puts forth and he tries to, to put forth on the show. Because, uh, you know, you don't not put your brother's um, wife in the wedding party if you're including the sister-in-laws. It's ridiculous. Um you don't, I mean, imagine not putting your own brother at your table for your engagement party. I mean, unless you're really estranged or you're, you know, the relationship is really on the rocks, you, you then you act like what Teresa's acting. But, you know, the fear is, of course, that Teresa gets alienated from people who care about her um, by Louis Ruelas because, you know, he basically is creating a wedge. Now, I'm sure Louis Ruelas is going to try to create a, a bridge that they play out on the show. So I do have a theory on what I think Teresa and Louis are going to try to do with New Jersey um, and make it work for him and his family. Um, I am going to, uh, if you actually, if you watch the live that I did with Freddie, uh, right before this video was dropped, you will see my theory is in that live. So please go watch it and you'll get a really good idea as to what I think is happening and how Louis and Teresa's kind of have a plan uh, that they're going to be executing to try to get the network to do what they want. So yeah. That's David good. asked her an excellent question at the end. He said, you know, are you worried you'll be fired like all these other cast members that have like in a, in a real way gone for something that like, you know, Teresa didn't like or didn't want. And Margaret said this. I'm not worried about my job ever. ever. I don't think that way. I, I just don't think that way. You don't? No. Yeah. I don't. That's good. <laughs> David's like shocked. I just don't think that way. I don't, I, I just don't. I just. 
just don't feel like, you know, it's not up to her. It's not up to me. It's not up to anybody but the network. And it probably helps you show up and have an authentic experience that way, right? I think it's, I think it's just being honest, authentic, and showing your real life and, uh, you know, and showing that you evolve. So Margaret basically says, like, I don't think Teresa has the power to get someone fired on the show. You can tell David doesn't really believe her because we've seen a lot of cast members that have been very important go because of things that link back to Teresa. So uh, that's, I think, David's way why he's talking like he is in that section of the interview, knowing him. Um, what I'll say is that um, I do think that... Uh, with what I think is happening with Teresa and Louie and what they're planning, I do think there are a few cast members that are core cast members that jobs could be at risk. Um, and I, the one thing that I think is keeping that from happening is Bravo isn't 100% convinced that Louis Ruelas is going to last in Teresa's life to gamble like future episodes on him and his family for the show. Margaret's position, of course, is that they're an ensemble cast. They had the highest ratings, I guess, that they've ever had, which I didn't know. She said that. Um, so she's saying that, like, this group is a really good group to shoot with all of us, and they would be crazy to change it. But we already know that there's been a casting shakeup that supposedly Jackie's been demoted to a friend, which I'm sure Teresa had influence over and um we also know that tracy is is supposedly out um so they're looking at a few new girls now we found out anyway there it is so um what do you think you guys comment below and go watch that live i did with freddie because i'm really curious to know what you think about my theory it's probably about halfway through Hey, you guys, I feel like this is Margaret Joseph vibes. What do you think? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And thank you for supporting me and doing this. Love you. Mwah.